Bobby Lee on the George Janko podcast apologizing to George Janko about this alleged sexual assault thing. So I spoke about this before on the stream, but allegedly George Janko on one episode of his podcast had um, that guy Mike on from Logan Paul's podcast, another you know ex colleague of George when he used to be on Logan Paul's pod, and he was talking about all the grievances he had with Logan Paul and his bad experience and blah blah blah. And during that process, a clip kit went viral that featured George Janko essentially saying that he felt like Bobby Lee when he was on that episode once that made George Janko kind of leave mid episode because he felt like he was being attacked or being overlooked or whatever. He felt like in that episode, Bobby Lee sexually assaulted him. I never had a problem with Bobby Lee. No, he knows. I that. had a problem with the way that Logan and you were kind of gassing him to keep doing. He started the episode putting his balls in my face. Then every two seconds, he kept grabbing my dick. I don't think- How would you feel I, if a man that I has his back completely towards you- Right. Talk to your face and you can't smack or beat the living well, brakes off well, of this guy. So, because Logan makes me apologize to this man or I don't have a job on Impulsive anymore. I don't think I understood. Bro, it's I, hope you, I hope you can understand it's a group that. Chat. After uh, the episode, do you remember it. when you called me? And I said, Mike, this is all that happens. And you said, it's our fault for not telling you this, but me and Logan are really the ones who should be talking to the guest. You are really there for a boys only episode. So while I get harassed my other co-host is trying to fire me and you're trying to leverage me to be quiet and then on my birthday you guys shot three episodes so i couldn't show up i think by the time we got there there was so much confusion and disarray in the podcast that there was no coming back we, yeah, we, no. we got to and um he was very annoyed by that and of course um that was a bit viral it went kind of crazy online and of course i made a flipping comment about it saying like you know if you let bobby leo sexual assault you, you probably deserved it and i also was very perturbed um that he would kind of mention it so you know many months after it actually happened he didn't seem to have an issue with it at, at the time whatever it may be but obviously it was a serious thing to him at the point um then all of a sudden a picture goes viral that features Bobby Lee taking a selfie with George Janko. And you're like, hold on. If you actually did get sexually assaulted by somebody, the last thing you'd want to do is record a podcast with them, right? They violated you. They disrespected you and whatever it may be. You don't want to record a podcast with them. But obviously he did. So it made me think, was this all a big clout game? And now we have the evidence that, yes, it was a big clout game because now they have an entire episode of this together, which happens to be episode number 69. Um, and which also um, happens to be them trying to talk it through. But from what I've been able to surmise from the other clips I've seen of this particular episode, it doesn't actually seem like George Janko actually had an issue with Bobby Lee sexually assaulting him. It almost seems like he said what he said to Mike during the episode just because he was upset. You know, he was just trying to look for an angle to be like the victim or something, but he didn't actually feel like he got sexually assaulted or got violated in any kind of meaningful way because if he did, I don't think any man would want to sit down with their sexual abuser and have a fucking podcast. Maybe if he had to sit down in a courtroom, it's a different story, mediation for some sort of fucking whatever else happened. But to sit on a pod and kiki and ha ha wouldn't make any sense. I don't think any man with balls between their fucking legs would ever do this. So I feel like this is all a play. Let's watch the video anyway and react to it and see how these guys dealt with this weird issue that isn't an issue and is an issue. So George, let's this you know we, we, we'll, we'll talk about other things, but um, I want to op I want to open up by saying um, that I'm sorry. I feel um, I just want to break down what happened with the the Jake Paul podcast. Got it. Okay. Yeah. So you know smiling? you know I usually do podcasts in my ecosystem, right? So it's like I know the rhythms. Oh, by the way, another caveat, by the way, there seems to be in the current narrative. I don't know who Bobby Lee upset. I don't know which agent he didn't pay. I don't know which hooker he didn't pay. Something's happening in the zeitgeist where it feels like everybody's starting to like attack Bobby for being like a bit handsy, for being a bit creepy and all this malarkey. I think to try and made a video about him. I think other, other YouTubers have also made videos about him. There's one particular YouTuber made a video about him, but then I think deleted it. I think it was Umpaville or somebody. I forgot who it was. I was trying to watch it, but then I tried to go back to it. And I couldn't find it. So I think they deleted it. But there seems to be a current thing going on trend where everyone's releasing clips of Bobby being creepy. Before it was seen as funny, but now when the new light is kind of being seen as, oh, this guy's overstepping the mark. This guy's being overly familiar. This guy is a rapist. This guy's a great piece of sexual abuse or whatever it may be. So this is part of the reason why this uh, clip is um, somewhat, um, you know, necessary for nowadays. 
questions and um, I know what I can and can't say. And generally, you know, a a everything, you know, is um, people are pretty open to they know who I am. Right. But with you guys, I didn't know. So I came I w and also it's a huge platform. So I was like super nervous. So, you know, I, I, I tend to get bullish and out of survival. Okay. And you looked at the the weak calf. I get no, it, no, dude. I, no, I, I, I was I, I, you're I, not a weak calf. You're not a weak calf. No, I get it, you're dude. I get it, dude. I would do the same. I'm already disgusted. I'm only a minute in. I'm already disgusted. This nigger is so desperate for fame. Like, because uh, bless George Janko. He's been in the game for a while. He's been in Hollywood for a very long time. Or he's been trying to get in Hollywood for a very long time. From music career to podcasting, comedy. He's tried fucking everything. And now he's finally got something that's sticking. That's landing with this podcasting he's got going on. And he's just seeing the light. He's seeing all the possibilities. And he's so desperate. Like, Because who else would let somebody get away with doing what he accused Bobby Lee of doing to him? Unless you have clout unless you have fame, unless you have money. How else could you ever get away with that with another man? It doesn't make any sense. Even for fame, I could never do this. I could never let myself get embarrassed and, you know, like, like he's literally giddy that he sat down with Bobby again because this is like a redemption thing. Everyone's going to watch it. It's going to do numbers. It's like, bro, don't you have any fucking dignity? Same Hi. thing. If I saw him, I no, you can't eat him. Okay. Stop. <laughs> So anyway, oh, I, I can get a taste. Save though. my dog. Get him Did out of here. He be so delicious though. Dude, I just, I just took his yeah, dog. I, I saw you lick him before yeah, he licked yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, God. And Bobby would obviously never laugh at something like that. He's obviously laughing on the joke and trying to make something of it because he wants to make light. He wants to obviously get this fucking apology out and be back in the good grace of this guy, and not ruin his Hollywood career. Because Bobby's got a lot to lose too. Bobby's in a really good place career-wise. He's landing new TV roles, new movies every fucking day. Seems like he's getting a new movie announced. Animated series of fucking bad friends with Andrew Santino's in the works. He's got a lot to lose now. He acts very nonchalant and whatever, but his career is actually going places right now. The worst popular time for Bobby Lee to get cancelled will be now. So I get why he's doing this, but it's George Janko. Come on, bro. No MSG or anything. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> But anyway, um, so when I... Yeah, of course, Joe from MIA. If this sexual assault thing didn't happen, Bobby Lee wouldn't be in this podcast. No way, Jose, would he be on this podcast. He's only on here because he wants to save his career. He doesn't want anyone to fucking think of him as a fucking rapist or a diddler. So he's obviously going to be on here to try to, you know, he's going to try to do what he can do to fucking, you know, uh, damage limitation type of thing. Oh, number one, I don't even... I, I do so many podcasts. I don't even remember what i said or did or didn't do i remember moments and also second secondly um i when you walked off the set i literally was confused by it i didn't know i don't know the drama behind um the podcast i um you know i know that you had written this speech <laughs> I wish I had writers for it. <laughs> <laughs> right. And you know what I mean? Um, I thought the instinct, the comedy instinct was to say that it was like boring or whatever. Mm -hmm. And yeah. I fell asleep. Yeah. And the third thing is, is that, and I truly don't remember, and it is br on brand, but I don't remember ever trying to touch you. But if, if I did that. I on brand. Imagine your brand being that you touch people without asking. Imagine being on brand is that you push the line of where somebody's, you know, overly familiar and kind of creepy. Imagine that being part of your brand. <sighs> it helps that he's like uh, an adult stuck in a kid's body because Bobby Lee's like 50 years old. He's like Brian Callen age. So it's not really cute, you know? Maybe because he looks like a teddy bear, he looks like a doll, but you couldn't get away with this if you're a black dude, could you? I don't, I don't think even a white dude can get away with this. All right? Actually, that fucking, that, who's that guy? That guy that's always getting fucking done for touching guys. He hasn't got away with this. So maybe it's lucky that Bobby Lee's sober and it's lucky that he's a cuddly Asian dude because anybody else, you wouldn't have a career if you were known to like go on TV shows and sit on women's laps and kiss them without, them, without their permission and put your hands on their knees and hug them and all this sort of shit. Yeah, Andy Dick, exactly, Andy Dick. Andy Dick is a white guy who does the same thing that Bobby Lee does. A blight with a bit more, you know, help from the class A's and shit. And look what happened to his career. I literally don't remember, but if I did that, I'm sorry. I, I, I do it for comedy 
reasons. Um, Comedy reasons. I don't know anything about your. <laughs> That's what Crystalia says. I messaged that 16 year old girl for comedy reasons. I s- allegedly slept with that 15 year old for comedy reasons. I splooged all over the chest of that 17 year old allegedly for comedy reasons. I forced that 18 year old down my fucking, you know, on her knees allegedly for fucking comedy reasons. You gotta love that comedy reasons. Religion or who you are. In fact, in fact, I didn't really know who you. I know who who you are now. But I didn't really know who you were, and I. Um, Offensive. But you know, with all that being said, I uh, I really truly apologize. I, you know, I. I mean, I love people. I am. <laughs> this is like the version of like when race racists get found out, and they say, you know, I love people. I don't see color. I love basketball. Kendrick Lamar is one of my favorite artists. Not like us, not like us. They're not like us, you know? <laughs> I love people, you know? I just love women. I love to fuck women. I'm not gay. I'm not gay anymore. I love podcasting. <laughs> and I think that you're, um, you're a voice that people talk about now. And, you know... Oh, he's finding it hard to find credit and to find give him a good compliment. You're a voice that, you know, people seem to like. You have a beard. You have a nice smile. I mean, you're you're here, and I, I just apologize. It's like thank I, you, bro. I'm sorry. All joking aside, seriously. For real, for real, I really appreciate that. Uh-huh. Can I can I tell you what really really hurt me though? I ain't Ringo, bro. <laughs> he's, he's like, bro. I know I sexually assaulted you, and I'm on here doing a fucking shame tour, and apology tour to kind of save my career, which is actually a career. I'm going to actual places. I'm on Netflix. I'm on fucking major, you know, streaming platforms. I'm doing shows with TV companies and all this malarkey. I probably got adverts and brand deals coming out of my ass. That's why I'm on this podcast. Not because I think you're a peer. Not because I think you're funny. Not because I think we're colleagues. Just because I want to apologize to save my blossoming career. Not because I think you're good or I think you're funny. Don't try to run bits by me now, motherfucker. I don't think you're funny. Look look at him. He's like, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> hmm. You're George Martin. No, do you do you know what do you know what I'm talking about or not? No, but, 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 I, well, 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 but wait, with you, I, you mean with you? You called me Ringo. I know. I know. So what? Who are you, George Harrison? In that? I'm George Janko. Okay, you're George Janko. Oh my God! What the fuck is going on here? I'm not Ringo. So you're not. So which one are you then? I'm George. J- what? But also, I, I, I refer to you as Ringo in, in that podcast. That was the Did only that, thing that hurt me. I was that's like, I, I feel like I'm not Ringo. I feel <laughs> like I'm... <laughs> well, I mean, I mean, it's an actual compliment to think you're Ringo. You're not even fucking Ringo. It's an actual compliment to think you're Ringo. You wonder girls in the back that's like nodding their heads. I'm not John Lennon. <laughs> in the, in, get out. No, 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 no. In terms get of, out. In between <laughs> you. You don't want him to get out. You don't want him to get out. You're there because you want to put him in a thumbnail. You want the views. Like, you don't want him to get out. Let's be real. No, no. Between all of them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I'm definitely John Lennon. Oh, you oh, you really? I know. So who's Ringo? Oh, who's, wait, who's Paul? Paul? Jesus Christ. Oh, I was just making a reference to a band, but okay, I get, I get what you're doing. Logan right. Paul is Paul. Oh, Logan Paul. Oh, Paul. Logan Paul. And um, Mike? The groupies. Wow, he just did this, didn't he? <laughs> yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Wow, wow, wow. wow. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. All, all, let, let's be serious. Bobby, this is I, a different side to you, dude. I, I, like, yeah. I, you really kind of make me mad. Yeah. Uh, Bobby, yeah. I, how do you laugh like that when you're not really laughing? That has to be a skill in itself, right? <laughs> how do you laugh like that when you're not actually even laughing? You're just making noises with your mouth. It's almost like Burt Kreischer, isn't it? You're just making noises, but you're not actually laughing. I knew exactly who you were, uh-huh. and I said this on the episode with Mike, and I'll say it again in front of you. Oh, I do appreciate your apology. Uh, if it was me and you, and we were just messing around, and we were like having a podcast, and you and you kept grabbing me because I know your comedy, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be bothered by it. I know who you are. I know your comedy. I've seen your podcast. What bothered me on that episode was my friends weren't being friends. Didn't back you. They didn't back me, bro. Yeah. They saw that I was actually going through things, and they stepped on me when I was down. And and. It,
Yeah, because you don't deserve to anyone to back you. You're a fucking loser, mate. Um, again, there's not much more to say about that as a as a conclusion. George Janko is a fucking dweeb. Um, judging by what he said on this particular episode, I get the feeling that there really wasn't an issue between the both of them. I feel like maybe he was trying to make a problem because he probably was scrambling to look for a reason to be a victim when he was on the pod with fucking Mike. Maybe that Mike guy was calling some things out, making it obvious that he wasn't a victim and that kind of got to him. And in the scramble to try to prove that he was a victim, he then kind of pulled um, a point out of his ass that he got sexually assaulted, but he didn't really get sexually assaulted because anyone that gets sexually assaulted could never sit on a podcast with somebody and be smiling and kikiing and showing all their teeth um, during a pod like this. It doesn't make any sense. So to me, I feel like that event was blown out of proportion um, clearly George Janko used it as a way to be a victim for his own benefit um, essentially it worked because he got a lot of sympathy for it because people thought he was actually the victim of some sort of sexual abuse and then when you actually looked into it a bit deeper you saw that he was obviously playing everybody for fools and you're obviously using it as a way to kind of you know um, to kind of suck up to Bobby get him on his podcast and then of course help his pod get to where it needs to get to very unashamed attempt to get basically more clout and more fame out of the situation and that's basically it so fuck this guy and everything he fucking stands for he's a fucking loser he really is a fucking fucking loser but again what do I know absolutely nothing I don't know anything of what I'm talking about